Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a virtual machine hard disk and give it direct access to local storage on your uh, host computer that you're running VMware Workstation on. So rather than create a VMDK file that's stored on your, you know, your local hard drive, this will give it direct access to that drive. So it's, it's kind of, the process is kind of similar to the way you create a normal hard disk. But for my case, so I have my C drive, which I don't want to give it direct access to my Windows system drive. Then I also have this other D drive here, but this stores my um, VMware virtual machine files on here. So I'm, I could probably use that, but I don't want to, but I'm going to show you why in a second. So if you are going to do this, you might want to have like a dedicated hard drive just for this purpose. So in my case, I'm going to use this flash drive here, even though it's not a hard drive, it's still, you know, it's going to work the same way. It's not going to give me much space, obviously, but I'll just show you how it works using this. All right, so you pick your VM, you go to the VM tab, settings, and then from here, from the hardware tab, you just click on add. I'm gonna pick hard disk, click next. You could pick your type here, we'll stick with the latest and greatest. Now here's your normal options where you could create a new VMDK file to store on your computer or use an existing one that you've detached from another VM. So we're gonna use the physical disk here and then click on next. So now it shows my drives here. And you can actually show the individual partitions once you uh, once you pick it. So if I were to pick the drive zero, use individual partitions, you could see here's my Windows drive here. And then I also have my my two terabyte, that D drive that I was talking about. So I'm going to use number four, but I'm going to use the entire disk here. Click on next. And then there's the name of the hard drive file it's going to use. Click on finish. And then you can see we have it up here using device instead of, you know, telling you the total size of the disk, it just says it's using that device, so it's going to use the space on that device. And I told it to use the whole thing. So I'll click OK. OK, so now we're going to start the virtual machine. But before I do that, if I go here, you'll see my Sandus. I have this folder here that was pre-existing. And I'll show you why I'm showing you that in a minute here. So let's power it on. OK, so the VM is running. And when I started it, it closed my Windows Explorer because I was on that uh, Sandus drive. So now watch what happens if I go back to it. Access is denied. That's because it's in use by the VM. So if we go to the VM itself, open File Explorer here. You can see we have the local disk, and here's that SanDisk E, and there's that master folder that I previously created. So if I were to create a new folder here, Okay, and now if I were to disconnect that hard drive, see that there's physical disk 4, that's the name we saw earlier, using the whole disk, and that's the size of the uh, flash drive that I have there. So let's remove that. But see how it says we can't even remove it unless the virtual machine's powered off, so we'll go ahead and shut it down. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go back there. So let's remove it. If I go back here, I should be able to get to this disk now. And there it is. And there's the uh, folder that I made on the VM. So when you use this option, it pretty much takes that hard drive that you're uh, attaching to it as it were as if it were its own hard drive and like in this case I used the whole thing instead of just a partition there were no partitions on it so I just used had to use the whole thing and anything that I create on the VM gets created on this local hard drive or you know in my case local flash drive on my computer and even if you detach the disk then um, it's that those files are still going to stay on there so it's kind of a neat way to do it, a little different than making a VMDK file and keeping those your individual Windows files within that VMDK file. This way you can actually see 
all the files that are kept on that drive. But just keep in mind, when the VM was running, I lost access to that drive within my virtual machine because I was using the whole thing. So that's why I didn't want to use my the disk that was running my that housed my VM files because I didn't you know want to worry about having there be some issue with it locking that disk and then my virtual machine stopped running. Then I was kind of stuck. So anyway, so one more time, just with the you know virtual machine shut down, you know go to the settings and add new hard disk. Pick your type. Use physical disk, and then pick your physical drive, and then either use the whole disk, or if you know if you have different partitions um, on a drive, you could do that. So let's say you have a, you know, like in my case, a two terabyte drive, and I split it in two different partitions. I could have one partition for my use for my local computer here, and then I could use the second partition for my VM files and that kind of thing. So once you do that, just start it up, and you'll be able to use it like normal. So pretty neat. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.